Hey folks, I'm Demotro, and today on the sixth day of the sixth month, I want to tell you some things about six, its older brother 66, and the even older brother 666. Sorry to folks who think this number is cursed. It's hard not to like it. It has a lot of cool properties. And these three numbers have more than just the sixes in common. Of course, they are similar in terms of being what we could call a rep digit in our base 10 system. Numbers composed of just one digit as a long string. Six, in this case, a really underrated number. Six is a really cool number. And these are essentially six times what I would call a hyper 11, a string of ones, uh, sometimes called a rep unit in our base. But here with these rep digits, they have another thing in common. All three of these numbers can form triangles in some interesting ways. Six is known as a triangular number because if I make a triangle of dots with one more in each part, one dot, two, three dots, we have one triangle that's worth six. It's the third triangular number because we've gone three layers, essentially one plus two plus three equaling six. Now, in fact, since three itself is a triangular number, that's the second triangular number, one plus two, six is what's known as a doubly triangular number. We could write that it is the triangular number that is the third one with something like T and a little three. And we could even write that it's the triangular number whose index is the second triangular number because T2 is three. And so T, T2 is the same as T3, six. And if we can write a number in this form of a triangular number whose index is a triangular number, that number is doubly triangular. Now, what about 66? This one isn't doubly triangular, but okay, we're not gonna draw all the dots. We'll write it out in terms of numbers, etc. It is triangular. We can add up one through 11 and it equals 66. We could say it's T11, the 11th triangular number or the sum of the numbers from one through 11. Now, what about 666? It would seem pretty remarkable if they continued being triangular numbers, because in fact, 6666 isn't a triangular number. It's pretty close. I think 6670 or something is a triangular number, but 6666 is not. And in fact, beyond this point, in our base 10 system, there are no other triangular rep digits. Numbers larger than 666 in base 10 that only have the same digit a bunch of times, but are a triangular number. In fact, the only rep digits that are triangular in base 10 are, if you include one digit ones, 0, 1, 3, and 6, those are a little trivial because any one digit number only has a single digit. So you might not include those. And if you're going to the multi-digit ones, the others are 55, which is the triangular number before this one, the 10th uh, triangular number, 66 right there, and 666. The largest triangular rep digit in base 10. And not only is it triangular, but it's doubly triangular. Because if I look at what the, wait, let's see, there's eight. The eighth triangular number is, turns out the sum of the first eight numbers from one through eight gives me 36. And then if I look at the 36th triangular number, the sum of all the numbers up through 36, which is also six squared, 
is 666. If you add up one through 36, you get that. So we could write it in the doubly triangular form. It is the triangular number whose index of which triangular number it is, is the eighth triangular number. Now we could take this further to see what are some triply triangular numbers. For example, if I saw which triangular number is the triangular number whose index is this whole thing, then I would essentially be saying this was six, so t of t of t of two would be the sixth triangular number, which is 21. So we could call that triply triangular. And at some point in an episode on my main combo class channel, remember, even though this one has more subscribers, this is my bonus, more casual channel. On the main combo class channel at some point, I'm gonna make an episode with some other really cool patterns I found. Because even though 6666 is not triangular or the one with five sixes or any amount of sixes in it, more than three if there's only sixes, if we do look at the 6,666th triangular number, or and the 666th triangular number, the 66th triangular number, and so on, we find some cool patterns. One little hint of that is that the 666th triangular number, which we could say is T T T eight equals two 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 one 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 two hundred twenty two thousand one hundred eleven. Now, this is very 666-esque because I could build it from this in a few neat little ways. I noticed we could add these three and then multiply it by that as a number. 222 times 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 666. Or the other way around. 2 plus 2 plus 2 in parentheses times 111 is also 666. And it also is just sort of neat looking, 222111. Well, if you want to mess around on your own and find some of the patterns that I will put in a future episode, see if the 6,666th triangular number has any similarities with that. And until the next stuff, I uh, love you all. Thank you for tuning in to these bonus math lessons. We do have a lot of cool full episodes on the Combo Class channel linked in the description here, as well as another short I made a while ago with some fun facts about 666 that aren't in this little video. Also, thank you to all my Patreon supporters whose names are in the description who help make stuff like this possible. Hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.